Students, we are given the question, if f of x is equal to f of a positive x, then we are to show that integral 0 to 2a f of x dx is equal to 2 times integral 0 to a f of x dx. Now, I would start by considering integral 0 to 2a f of x times dx. Now, this could be rewritten as integral 0 to a f of x dx positive integral a to 2a f of x times dx. Now, after this, I would be now considering, now considering integral a to 2a f of x dx. Now, I need to integrate this. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this substitution. Let x be equal to a positive u. u is a variable, x is a variable, a is a constant. Now, if you were to differentiate this, differentiating, we get dx to be equal to du. Now, for the limits, when x is equal to a, you get a is equal to a positive u. That means u is equal to 0. So the limits in this case, when x is equal to a, u is equal to 0. So this is one limit we have got. Next, when x is equal to 2a, we would have 2a is equal to a positive u. Therefore, the value of u would be equal to a. So in this case, u is equal to a. This is the next limit. So the integral, or I would say the integration now can be rewritten as integral 0 to a in the place of f of x. I would have f of a positive u. In the place of dx, I would have du. Now, since f of x is given to be as f of a positive x, this means f of u is equal to f of a positive u. So the integration can now be rewritten as integral 0 to a f of u du. Now, this is an integration with u being the variable. So naturally, we can rewrite this to be as integral 0 to a f of x dx with x being the variable here. Now, if I were to take this as 2 and if I were to take this as 1, using 2 in 1, we get, so what do we get? Integral 0 to 2a f of x dx is equal to integral 0 to a f of x dx positive integral z a to 2a f of x dx is now integral 0 to a f of x dx. So just substitute that 0 to a f of x dx. Now adding these two together would give us two times integral 0 to a f of x dx and which is the result that we need.